So now that uh, early elections have been called in Israel, uh, what are the implications for Israel itself? And do you believe that a unified opposition can be formed to counter Netanyahu's coalition? As things stand today, there is really no one in the opposition that can lead and form a government once the elections uh, take place. You know, you have to consider and think carefully about what actually Prime Minister Netanyahu has done. Uh, you can accuse him of a lot of things, but you can accuse him of not having actually uh, the kind of political skills. And very few actually people in Israel have the same kind of skills that Netanyahu has. He decided to go for an early election because his popularity at this point is up. He used uh, the inability to agree on a budget for 2012-13, or 13-14, I should say, as an excuse for going for early election. The problem is in Israel is that, ideally, you would think that the parties from the center and the left can get back together and form a united front, and only such a front with an attractive leader will have the chance to win the election and form the new government. Again, the problem is a question of leadership. There are now talks about the possibility that former Prime Minister Olmert might come back and make an effort to form such a coalition. But again, you know, Israel politics is rather strange, and the likelihood of that happening is not very strong likelihood. From my perspective, I would like to see such a change take place because the truth of the matter is, under the Netanyahu government for the last four years, the peace process has been stalled, and that is certainly not uh, to Israel's advantage uh, now in the short term as well as the long term.